So if this is the Seaboard Railroad drawbridge, yep. it's a swing bridge and it's swung open. You can see the silver part over there to the left of the opening. Yep. So we can just go through it's very tight. Just go through it. As slow as you can go. Maintain course and speed. If you slow down, the boat will get weird because we're catching a lot of wind and a little currents coming off that canal to our left. Now, if you need more steerage and more control, you can inch up your throttles about 100 or 200 RPM and you'll rock it through there. But you can see where the water's got textures on this side and smooth. But what's going on right behind it? That's the lock. That's the lock. It's that close. Yeah. All right. That's the Moorhaven lock. And you you can see the steer? floodgates on the right side. Okay, call the lock and tell them eastbound. We're ready whenever they're ready. Was channel nine? No, nope. 13. Locks are on 13. Uh, lock, lock, eastbound. We go in here. Okay, guys, we've got a strong wind that will push us to the starboard side to the wall. Let me know when you've got everything overboard. I can hear Ed on the walkie-talkie. I cannot hear Tina. How's that last fender? Is it deployed? Okay. One more to go. Okay, I'll inch up. I hope you get it over. All of them are deployed. All fenders deployed. Okay, thank you. I'm not having trouble with the wind, but I'm just trying to manage the wind. Both forward. Here we yeah, go. If you stay towards the back of the chamber, you will have a smoother ride up. Understand, we'll stay in the back. Okay, guys, just like last time, we're going to stay in the back of the chamber. Okay, Tina, how are you looking for a rope? You got your boat pole? Okay, Ed's got a rope in the front. Okay, stand by, Ed. We've got to wait for Tina to grab one. Okay, tell me where to go. Well, look up high. The rope might be up high. Okay, where's your boat pole? Where's your boat pole? Get your boat pole. Can you reach up high and get it? Okay. Okay, good deal. Tie it onto the cleat like last time, or we're going to go up.
good. Okay, Tina, you good in the back? Good in the back. Ed, you good in the front? Okay, I'll call the lock master and tell him we're secure and shutting down. Moorhaven, we're secure. We'll shut down the engines. LJ's on, and I guess we're going up about five. We're out four, buddy. Okay, we're going up four. Thank you. Engine off. Engine off. Okay, so if this is the last lock. Lake Okeechobee rim route, and then Clewiston is our next stop. Okay, I understand. Okay, I understand. I can start the engines to pull out when the doors are open. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start the port engine. And now the starboard engine. And straighten the rudders to midship. Okay. We'll just wait another second for that door to open. Ed, you see that turbulence up there? Okay. Okay, Ed, let go of the bow. The bow thrust to the right. Off. Okay, Tina, let go of the stern. Say again. We're free. Okay, here we go. Hold on. Both engines. It's turbulent up here, so hold on. And all that turbulence is from the water coming in. So I'm just going to dance the boat one engine at a time to get through it. And Ed, don't lift up the fenders yet until we get all the way out in case the turbulence plays tricks on us. Both engines are in gear and we're taking off like a rocket, okay? Oh, bow thrust. Whoop, don't need to. See how the turbulence turned me already? Okay. Both engines forward. Port neutral. Both forward. Starboard neutral. Both forward. Port neutral. Both forward. Okay, you can pick up the fenders now. We're out. More, more Haven like. Thank you. Stand by 16. A little more turbulence, but we're okay. Uh, nine feet deep, we're going to turn right. This is the rim route canal. We're going to turn right and head towards Clewiston. Okay. Okay, so that's our last lock for today. We'll have to go through our hurricane gate. And then we'll tie up to a floating dock in Cluston at Roland and Marianne Martin's fish camp. Thank you, guys.